Hey, Mama Africa. Oh, Mama Africa. Hey, Mama Africa. Oh, Mama Africa. Remix. Out of Africa, out of Africa. Crazy for the name, most sick from the gang called Single Region Boys. Yeah, need a breakdown. The MIK, the Single Region Boys, ain't got no time to play. For all you suckers that don't know this beat, it's been around here for many years. I'm up to reach a crew. No, not to mess with me, cause they know I'm a scientific OG. First off, they dissing the molecular clock. Although, proof teeth, they still claim supplies. They say that empty DNA proves them, but that ain't the only way. Artifacts is one, then fossil remains. Yeah, come on, let's back it up. A million years ago, when H. Rex left Africa, they dispersed and went away, then slowly evolved into humans, man. Yeah, gene flow between different populations. That's what prevented speciation. They claim we came from H. Erectus. Single region boys don't respect this. Natural selection and regional population is responsible for regional variations, aka races. Guess who's back? Back again with a brand new rap. Everybody clap and freeze! Knock knock! Who's there? It's another crazy brother named Uzair. The fossils, the MRK finds, got no face. How can we tell their race? I ain't trying to be hostile, but the proof is just futile. Cause the fossils can't lie, and we can't go back in time. Which makes us realize they could have no descendant. And that's a dope argument. The MRK claim we came from different places. That means we be different species, not races. Uh-huh, uh-huh, the geneticist Take the gene ray, the paleontologist Use radioactive decay They wanna decrease the amount of species In the human fossil record But they can't, cause new fossils pop out One from Asia, Kenya, Ethiopia So everybody shout! The flaw in multi-regional theory Is that the regional continuity Is straightforward to the rigidity Of the Homo erectus population being diverged Into Homo sapiens Exchanging, exchanging enough genes between companions Evolution uses survival of the fittest Environment, time, changes, genetic makeup is wicked If it did, then multi-regional is rigged Compared to it, no other species were created The Trucana boy from Africa, Peking man from China Surely, they were all Homo erectus That were used to living in places that were hot Surely they overcame and spread to the cooler spots This is flawed because they didn't change into different species There's so many problems with walking technology I'm Another brother named JT Here to talk about the out of Africa theory True story goes a million years ago Atra Gasser left the African home Fast forward, one to two hundred thousand years from today African changed the evolutionary pathway Homo sapiens, but from the motherland Place the other homo species that didn't expand We don't know if it was a direct process Sapiens invaded, took over with success Or if they lacked the knowledge and skills While the brains of the modern humans were fully fulfilled Or if there was some sexual isolation Which caused some speciation Since sapiens might be able to communicate And all the other apes species would just play a hate Coming in with the flow How do we know Sapien's Great Walk? Well, we just look at the molecular clock. Because empty DNA doesn't lie, simply put, can't recombine. Between maternal lines, it tells us a story that we can all believe, but the African girl we call Eve. All we modern humans today share her empty DNA. This empty DNA mutates at a constant rate for us to calculate the golden date of when Eve lived 200,000 years from today. The MRK say we don't have proof. Without fossils, it's all a spoof. But we'll tell you the truth. Before these rhymes go to heaven, I'll tell you what happened in 97. In the village of Hirto, Africa, some fossils were found. Yeah, sucka. These were any homo creatures. 
it had the mo modern human features. The fossils were dated and the results were stated. And they were the same age as Eve. Oh! Just 